I finally figured out how to use my camera, you guys. It's it's only been like five months, right? Can you Right now, I'm completely barefaced. Uh, I do have lashes on because I, I needed something to help me. This video is going to be for um, the skincare brand, which I honestly really, really like. And it's Georgette Klinger. And, yeah. Um, they did send this stuff to me. Just a little FYI, but again, I'm sure I don't have to say this. If I don't like something, I'm going to tell them. I'm not going to be rude about it, but I'm going to... I'm going to give you guys my opinion because that's what this is for. I have the little email thread. They're adorable, by the way. They're so I sweet. got the products on August 19th, and I, um, they were, we were contacting each other on the 15th, so it came within four days, so that's awesome right there. That's just incredible because, um, I've had other brands send me stuff, and it takes, like, two months or three months to get to me, so the fact that they're so quick is awesome. In so, the first little... Uh, package I got. They sent me the Bamboo Exfoliating Scrub, which is awesome, and I'll give you more details on those. They sent me the, I think it's Phytic Exfoliating Toner, which is my favorite thing. They gave me the um, Coconut Milk Cleanser. This isn't focusing, but it's Lime Solution Moisturizer, and this Collagen and Elastin, Elastin Moisturizer. Then they sent me another package with Grapefruit cleansing gel. Um, it wouldn't be a video of mine if something doesn't fall. Um, the Phytic, Phytic Exfoliating Mask. Oil free skin balance. Vitamin C toner. And Volcanic Mineral Scrub. And I randomly got a package the other day. And they sent me a full size of the uh, Lavender Facial Mist. This one is the Bamboo Exfoliating Clean Scrub. This is the Volcanic Mineral Scrub. I smell everything. I don't know why. And they just smell very clean for the most part. Like, they don't smell overly florally or, like, you You can tell that they aren't, like, um, uh, crazy scented or anything, which is good and good for your skin. So, yeah, this one almost smells like charcoal, which is, makes sense because there's, it's the Volcanic one. This one is definitely a lighter scrub, so this is something that if you exfoliate daily, this would be a good daily one because it's not too abrasive, I guess that's the word. Like, it's very gentle, a gentle exfoliator. The one thing I can say about all of their, like, cleansing products is I've tried products that you wash your face and you feel like there's literally nothing left. Like, it just sucked everything out of your face. And I don't like those because I don't like, I don't know, I just feel like my skin is dehydrated, but... With all of their cleansers, your skin feels clean and all like the bad stuff is gone, but it still feels like it has moisture in it, which is awesome. And that you shouldn't be taking every single thing out of your skin because it's not good for it. So, yeah. And then the Bamboo Exfoliating Scrub. This one is definitely a little rougher. I like it like that. I'll use it once or twice a week depending on how my skin's doing. But it doesn't hurt at all, and it's all good there. Like, I've tried scrubs that actually are so fine and the pieces are like sharp almost where it like hurts your face a little bit. You can tell that it's it's exfoliating your skin but it doesn't hurt but you can tell that it's definitely working where with the volcanic one it's more of a lighter scrub and it's good for like daily scrubbing. Next I'm gonna talk about this grapefruit cleansing gel and coconut cleansing milk which these are awesome. The um grapefruit one I feel like it's so good for oily skin. I don't know why. But whenever I use it, it smells a little bit like grapefruit, but again, nothing too crazy. Um, I I feel like when I use this one, it just, my skin, it just feels like any of like the oiliness, oiliness is gone. It's, it almost like it just feels like my skin's being more balanced with the grapefruit. I don't know why. I don't know if everyone feels that way, if it's just me, but it just feels good and makes my skin feel clean. Again, not dehydrated because I hate that feeling. But it's really, really nice. Good for a daily thing. They don't lather a lot, so you're not going to see like a whole bunch of little bubbles. So once you're using it, you can kind of rub it into your skin and it's it's a cleanser and it feels just smoother and it's not going to bubble like crazy. Coconut cleansing milk is amazing as well. It smells like coconuts but again everything's very light scented it's not super crazy 
I use this one last night. I think a lot of their stuff is good for sensitive skin because it's just, it's so light. It's just everything's so light. I love it. Um, I feel like I sound like a commercial right now and I totally don't mean to because that's not how I am. But I really do like this stuff. And there are a couple things that aren't my favorite, but that's how brands are. So there's that. Then these two, I guess, moisturizer things. This is the uh, Line Solution Moisturizer, and I always use this under my eyes. I can't say if it actually soothes lines because I don't really have many. I'm 16, so I just like I want to prevent things. I'm peeling here, by the way. I just got back from Florida. That's why I didn't post a video last week. I'm sorry, but it was so pretty there. Um, and I'm going to have a vlog up of that. Alright, you guys. I forgot to mention that um, I'm trying not to whisper. My brother just walked in, and I'm trying to get better with filming because I don't like doing them before home, but i got to do this. So um, I'm going to use those cleansers, or basically anything I use when I wash my face. I use these little light scrubby pads. Like, it's super... I don't know. They're just very gentle, but they're, they're good. Um, so yeah, I forgot to mention that, but um, I use that with the um, coconut cleanser and grapefruit cleanser. The next product that I really like is the oil-free skin balance. Again, I'm sure you guys know, I'm, I've told you a million times, I really, really oily skin, so I will wash my face or exfoliate it with something over here in my pile, and then I'll use the, it's just this clear kind of liquid, I guess, but it's, it just reminds me of a serum, but a moisturizer, and it feels really, really nice, and I don't wake up with, like, crazy oily skin, which, again, is awesome. You know, for my all-time favorite right now, this is the Phytic Exfoliating Toner. <sighs> I love it. I always wanted to try the Pixi Glow Tonic, and I don't know why, I just never got my hands on it. And they sent me this, washed my face with their stuff, like the first time I was trying them out, and then grabbed a cotton pad and some of this, and as I was going on my face, it almost was a little tingly, but not pain tingle, but you could feel like tingles. Um, and then afterward, I was looking at my face in the mirror, and I was just like, your skin feels insanely soft, and it just has this glow that I don't understand, but it's incredible. And I did run out of it, and I don't know why, but I didn't think to email them about getting another one, so I tried out the Mario Badescu glycolic like toner thing, and th it's good. It still leaves your skin kind of glowy, but this one, nothing will be this one so good. It's, I can't even I can't even show you guys because there's nothing in it. But as soon as they send me another bottle, I'll show you guys what that's like because it's so good. And I don't even know how to describe the smell. But I like it. It's almost like grapefruit. grapefruit. Lemon peel extract, orange, and green tea. So yeah, it just reminds me of that kind of stuff. But all-time favorite thing ever from Georgia Clinger. It's amazing. It smells good. It makes my skin feel good. I love it. These products I don't hate, but I don't reach for them. Like, I reach for those, which, again, is normal. But, yeah. So the first one is this Vitamin C Toner. It's good. Um, but I like the Friday Toner better, and I like my Mario Badescu Toner better, so I don't really... Make sure this one the bottle's so full. I might give it to my mom or something. Again, it smells clean. It just smells like toner to me, if that makes any sense. Not bad. It just doesn't do much for my skin, so I don't really reach for it. But I'll give it to my mom. I don't waste anything, so this is good. The next thing is this collagen and elastin moisturizer, which, again, it's good. It smells like moisturizer. It's good, but it's not exactly what I need for my skin. I, once you actually start using skincare and you know what you like and you know what your skin likes, I don't know, this is just one of the things that, it's not bad, like I've used, I can't open it now, I've used a lot of it, like there's, you can see the other side of it there, but there's things that I like more, so I'm just going to save this and if I ever need to 
travel, which I did bring this to Florida with me. And I'll just have it in my little travel bag. Um, I did notice with this my skin feels really soft after I use it. I don't know um, if it's more like elastic because I, I'm still young so I'm not going to have anything showing like that yet. But it's good. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about it but I don't have anything good to say about it. Um, Vitek Exfoliating Mask, just like the toner, same like concept I guess. I've only used it once because I haven't had time to do masks and things, which I don't know if you guys can tell, but my skin is a little rough because when I was on vacation I forgot to wash it a couple times and I just feel stupid, but it's alright, I'll get it back on track and we'll be fine. This is good and it does leave your skin with like a glow like the, to uh, like the toner does, but it's not as intense of a glow. I'm going to keep using it and I'm sure I'll love it, but yeah, it doesn't leave your skin as glowy as like the toner does, which I guess makes sense. I don't really know how chemical things work, but it's good. I haven't noticed any super crazy differences in my skin yet with that, but it's alright. And the last product they sent me, I got this yesterday in the mail, which is awesome because I'm filming this video today, so it was perfect timing. Um, and I've already used it. It is the Lavender Facial Mist. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of lavender. And when you open it, it smells... Uh, I don't know. I don't even mean because they're super nice and they didn't have to send this to me. It almost smells like lavender, but like extremely clean. Like an orga organic. Like an organic cleaning product, which isn't bad. Um, and it gets much better once you like actually spray it. I guess it's when you open it and you smell it like full on that it smells like that. But um, yeah, I did my makeup yesterday and I sprayed this and it was like a nice kind of, I don't know, hydration kind of thing. And um, it took like the powder like away from my face, which is awesome. And it did really good with that. Um, I wouldn't say it held my makeup on any longer. Maybe it did, but I did try other new products, so I don't know if it was this or the other new products. Um, and on the back of it, it says you can spray it on your pillow for aromatherapy and like a, um, I can't talk. I uh, missed on your pillowcase, I said that, but I did that and it smelled fine. Like it didn't smell like a cleaning product there, but I'm going to keep using it. I might throw this one in my purse too as like a on-the-go kind of hydration-y spray thing. I gotta go wash my face, you guys, and I'm gonna bring you with me. I'm gonna use the Volcanic Scrub and the Oil-Free Skin Balance today. So, let's go wash our face. So now that my face is clean, and it's all good, I still have my little spots, unfortunately. I wish it would just go away, because, yeah. I don't know. Um, glycolic Acid uh, Toner from Mario Badescu, and a little bit on a cotton thing. These are just from Target. You can get them anywhere, I think. So, let's go. Um, so this is what I was talking about, you guys. Like, I just leave your skin glowy, but the, um, Phytic, I don't know how to talk, I don't remember what it was called, Phytic something toner, just, I don't know, it makes you more glow. I'm gonna take a little bit of the skin balance. I'm gonna put on some eye cream. It's not Georgia Clinger, it's Skin Iceland, Ice, Iceland. I'm gonna take a little bit of tea tree oil. Um, I don't dilute it, maybe I should, but it doesn't burn my skin like, um, like some other people's, so I take a little bit of this and just go right on there, just because I know, I've used it before for my pimples and I know that it kind of diminishes them, so. There we go. 
Alright you guys, so that's, that's basically all I do and I would definitely recommend red little bit I would definitely recommend you try Georgia Clinger. Um they're a really cool brand. They're based in New Jersey, which is cool because that's where I'm from. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me and my skin. Um please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Check out Georgette Klinger on Instagram. I'll leave their link in the description. What else? Let me know what you want to see. I will see you guys next time. Hope you have a really, really, really good day. And bye.